Of course, thank you to all of our 2021 IIDA Ohio Kentucky chapter benefactors as well. So why ID matters? We're gonna to look today about how to become an advocate. So what does advocacy mean? It's public support for or recommendation of a particular cause or policy. As commercial interior designers, we are accustomed to taking risks and dealing with complexity. On a daily basis, we are pressed to keep up with ever-changing technologies, juggle competing priorities, and meet impossible deadlines. Yet, when it comes to putting advocacy into action and advancing the practice, many of us feel overwhelmed. The topic can seem too massive, too complicated, too political, or maybe too abstract but it doesn't have to be. We have many resources on the IIDA advocacy website that can teach you a few simple actions you can take that will have a direct and positive influence on the practice in our own communities and as a whole. And Cheryl Durst, I think, put it the best. She is our IIDA executive vice president and CEO. And she quotes, and I quote, Advocacy is everything. Education is advocacy. Membership is advocacy. And every single one of us in the interior design industry, whether we are practicing in a firm, working for a manufacturer, or teaching, is an advocate for our profession. So let's look at how to be an advocate. Let's talk interior design know how to talk about commercial interior design and share that knowledge with others, your colleagues, your grandmother, and your friends. Engage in interior design. Keep up with best practices and relevant research to influence the conversation and stay involved in IIDA. Recognize interior design. Understand how the legal recognition of interior design impacts the profession in your state, in other states, and globally. So next we're gonna look at how to write an elevator pitch. So what is an elevator pitch? An elevator pitch is a brief opportunity, one to two minutes to answer the following questions. Who am I? what I do, how I do it, why I do it, or who I do it for. The goal is to plant a seed of curiosity. So as the elevator doors, whether they're real or metaphorical, open and the listener says, tell me more. Describe what you do and why it's important in the world. Here's some general tips. Be passionate, confident, concise, and succinct. Make it quick, but don't rush. Know your audience and customize it. Make it conversational, use it to start a conversation. Practice, practice, practice. And of course, test it and tweak it. What is an interior designer? An interior designer is an individual who has been trained to identify, research, and solve problems pertaining to the development of an interior environment and who possesses the knowledge and skills to implement solutions for the health and safety of its occupants. Interior designers apply their expertise of design and the build environment to solving problems at the interior scale and at the level of direct human experience. So when in writing an elevator pitch, here's some key words that are in. Administer, manage, propose, select, survey, specify, explain, develop solutions, explore, analyze, determine, fuse, integrate, construct, background, expertise, knowledge, 
registration, certification, interior design legislation. Words that you really want to avoid that are out that don't elevate your elevator pitch is watch over, influence, suggest, pick out, look at, point out, fix, help, look over, make, decide on, bring together, join, play around with, knack, taste, style, licensure, practice art, and title act. For those of you who do not know who Shaylin Jackson is, she is our VP of Advocacy for the IIDA Ohio Kentucky chapter. And she quotes, in my opinion, design needs to permeate every aspect of life. Therefore, I passionately advocate for the advancement of the design profession because I'm dedicated to protecting the rights of my fellow interior designers so we can practice to the fullest extent of our abilities. So next, we're actually gonna take a look at Shaylin's elevator pitch. Inspired by, inspired by design and determined to identify solutions, I leveraged my expert training as an NCIDQ certified designer and the skills of those in my professional network for my clients. At one of the largest pediatric hospitals in the nation, my clients range from patient and patient families to doctors, nurses, and scientists. I enjoy learning the needs of my clients and researching ever-evolving evidence-based design solutions. In my opinion, design needs to permeate every aspect of life. Therefore, I passionately advocate for the advancement of the design profession because I'm dedicated to protecting the rights of my fellow interior designers so we can practice to the fullest extent of our abilities. Okay, so next we're gonna break down and look at those five parts of an elevator pitch. The first one being, who am I? So Shaylin in her first sentence answered that, Inspired by design and determined to identify solutions, I leveraged my expert training as an NCIDQ certified designer and the skills of those in my professional network and my clients. So let's take a look at who you are. We're gonna pause for a couple of minutes and I want all of you online to develop your first sentence explaining to somebody who you might be in an elevator with who I am. So you might wanna use words like construct, specify, survey, propose, manage, administrator, or administer. So please take the next couple of minutes to develop your sentence of who I am. So how's everyone doing? Are we ready to move forward to the next part? Okay. Now we look at what I do. So in Shaylin's elevator pitch, what I do, her second sentence answers that. At one of the largest pediatric hospitals in the nation, my clients range from patients and patient families to doctors and nurses and scientists. So let's pause again, and I'm gonna have you write down, what do you do? Okay, we're gonna move on to the next section, how I do it. So again, in Shaylin's first sentence, she also answers how I do it. Inspired by design and determined to identify solutions, I leverage my expert training as an NCIDQ certified designer and the skills of those in my professional network for my clients. So again, I would like you to write how you do it. And again, we're gonna pause for a few minutes to give you time to answer. Okay, so the next section, is why I do it. So in looking at Shaylin's elevator pitch, she does it because in my opinion, 
Design needs to permeate every aspect of life. Therefore, I passionately advocate for the advancement of the design profession because I'm dedicated to protecting the rights of my fellow interior designers so we can practice to the fullest extent of our abilities. So we're gonna pause again so that you can have time to write down, why do you do it? So now we're gonna look at who I do it for. So in Shaylin's elevator pitch, she explains that in the middle of her paragraph. I enjoy learning the needs of my clients and researching ever-evolving evidence-based design solutions. So again, we're gonna pause, and who do you do it for? And I'm gonna give you a few minutes to write that part of your elevator pitch. So how's everyone doing? Feeling comfortable putting your elevator pitch together at this point? I'm definitely still at the bullet points, so it'll take a little more time to put it into full sentences. <laughs> okay. So let's give it a few more minutes for everyone. I will say when you first read Shaylin's, I was like, whoa, I cannot do that. And then as we broke it down, I was like, okay, okay, it's coming along. <laughs> good. Shay Lenz is so good. It's hard not to like want to just copy exactly what she says. Right. I know. I was thinking if I was in an elevator next to her and she said that, I'd be like, yes, me too. Christina. <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> So, who would like to share their elevator pitch with the group? Well, I'll kick off mine because I pre-wrote it. And mine's going to be obviously a little different since I'm a manufacturer's rep versus um, an interior designer, but we all are for advocacy in the field. So, mine is... I am an account executive for Tarquette selling fit for purpose flooring and accessory solutions for the commercial market, working with designers, architects, facility managers, and end users. I strive to be my customer's flooring expert and go-to resource and provide a comprehensive portfolio of sustainable evidence-based design solutions for their interior environment projects. So now that I broke the ice, I'm hoping somebody else will volunteer and share um, their elevator pitch with us. Everyone knows if nobody else will share, I will. <laughs> um, mine is very scribbly, so I will try to read it correctly. And I too kind of write mine as like writing about our firm because a lot of times when I talk to people, I'm talking about our firm kind of as a whole. So feel free to say whatever in, insightful input, but this is what I have. I am an NCIDQ certified commercial interior designer who serves as the director of interior design and an associate at our firm, Heidi D. Francisco and Siebold. Along with our team, we design senior living solutions, multifamily housing projects and supportive housing. Through research and years of experience, we work with our clients to create unique solutions that fit their needs. Our well thought out designs. Sorry, sorry, I had to get through. Sorry. Our well thought out design solutions create environments so that some of the most delicate members of our society can live in a dignified environment that can help them thrive in every aspect of their lives. Elevating these communities elevates our population as a whole and helps to create a place where all people can live safer, healthier, and more impactful lives. That's excellent. Very through well done. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Who else I, can would read, like? I can read mine awesome. I don't know if mine's as good I'm not like great at like wordsmithing things like a lot of people are I am terrible at trying to get things that are in my brain out into words effectively but this is what I've got so far so 
As an NCIDQ certified commercial interior designer, I develop solutions for the built environment to meet the needs of my clients. At my commercial architecture firm, my clients range from universities, K through 12 school districts and corporate offices. Working with, working with these clients, we listen to their needs and work within their budgets and timelines to create the most successful solution for their space. Design affects every aspect of our lives and it's my passion to be my passion is being able to make the interaction between life and design as seamless as possible to help people learn, live, and work most effectively. That was really good, Brie. You have been great. Who else would like to share? Anna, would you like to share? I saw you writing away. Yeah, I will. Um, I also took some ideas from like a biography that we use um, kind of when we go out and pitch for projects. Here's mine. An interior designer with an interest in marketing, Anna digs down deep to fully understand the client and brand to help reach the best design solutions for the end user. Although she is adamant about creating experiences and spaces that are functional and practical, she was always looking for ways to push the boundaries of design. Additionally, Anna strives to incorporate inclusive and empathetic design into her work to meet the specific and unique needs of all individuals. That's good. The only thing I would say, Anna, is just change it from third person to first mm -hmm. person. Yeah. Because um, obviously, you know, you don't want to um, be talking <laughs> to a person in an elevator to someone. But like who's Anna? <laughs> all those, all those five top uh, hot points that give the point of what you do and why it's purposeful. So that that was great. Does anyone else want to share? <laughs> okay. Well, I think that is. Um, everybody that is going to share for today. So um, that does conclude our elevator pitch uh, Zoom presentation for today. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to any of us uh, on the board um, in regards to this um, Zoom presentation today. If you are um, needing more information, just let us know. We can share this presentation with you. Um, after today, uh, we hang up and um, feel free to reach out to me as well as your go to advocacy person in the Toledo area. And I'm more than happy to keep you up to date on anything that's going on um, new or if you just need help um, rewriting your elevator pitch. I'm more than happy to also help you do that as well. Yeah, thank you, Elise, for presenting. This was great and amazing. A lot of um really helpful and in information in there, I think. And yeah, I was just going to reiterate, if anybody wants to bounce ideas off of any of us for, um, for your own elevator pitch, if you come up with one and you want some input, feel free to email us. We'll send a follow-up email to everybody signed on today with uh, the recording uh, for today, as well as, uh, yeah, maybe some of these elevator pitches that we wrote this, uh, today. So, um, yeah, if anybody has anything else to share, feel free. But other than that, I think we are um, good to go. So I think we've got a whole other half hour of lunch that you guys can enjoy on your own. <laughs> and thanks for participating and really helping us all elevate in commercial interior design in our market and in other markets as well. Great. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Bye.